thought I'd say this, but it's good to see you, Arthur Morgan. And we are live. Welcome back to part 23 of Marston Mondays, where we free roam with John in Epilogue 2. I'm your friendly neighborhood, Super Antonio, and please be sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell if you would enjoy seeing more of my Red Dead Redemption 2 content. John is back with Rachel. John missed Rachel. Let's get started. And back in Saint Denis, I forgot we unlocked all the guns, and now we can pick up a Lamat. Good girl. The Lamat unlocks in Chapter 4, I believe. Welcome back! You must have been traveling for a while. Let me know if I can help you choosing something. Let's have a look. Do we have time to read the catalog? I think we have time. D.D. Packenbush, Lamat Revolver, 7750, the Grape Shot Revolver. We offer you a truly unique and innovative revolver from D.D. Packenbush that has been coined by Cavalry as the Grape Shot Revolver. This celebrated revolver includes a second 20-gauge barrel below the first that fires the buckshot. It is your choice. Fire traditional revolver cartridges, then flip the lever on the end of the hammer and dispatch a load of blue whistlers as your enemies scream out in terror. It is a favorite of cavalrymen in every detail, from frame to cylinders to stock. This special revolver was a fierce opponent during many an uprising and rebellion. Twin striker modes. Single action muzzle loader. The Lamat revolver is the short range winner. The gun is so well known it is entirely pointless to go into a lengthy description of it. Compare with any model on the market, the Lamat has always had a good reputation for providing extra firepower on the battlefield or in the brothel. T. Burn Russell wrote to us to say, I had the unfortunate encounter upon a man who exhibited simultaneous traits of ignorance and confidence. As he attempted to loose my horse from the hitching post outside the place of worship in which I was attending, a young boy took notice and I confronted the would-be thief who began firing a shotgun at me. We exchanged several rounds and my Lamat had gone empty when he charged and knocked me to the ground, having full intention to kill me dead. I then remembered that there was a second barrel, and, having fired that, shot him between the eyes of great concern to his new widow. You could squander money on courting or other dissipations that will be your final undoing, or you could order this unique revolver. It is just the thing to celebrate artistic incompetence by dispersing a sideshow or circus in a cacophonous mania, or remove the indigent and indigenous and convince them of the errors of their ways. Once the enthusiasm of youth is lost, it leaves one to ponder over angry thoughts for hours. The days of soldiering or sailoring are done, the shadows long in the November of his life. And should any histrionic hobbledehoy come traipsing through this holler, they will be met with the holiest of emotions. Featuring exquisite detailing. This illustration is engraved by an artist and allows you to form a very good idea of the appearance of this high-grade gun. This gun is guaranteed to delight. Do not let anyone of ill repute persuade you into buying an imitation as, one day, your life may very well depend on a genuine Lamat at a dark and unforeseen moment. Become a fierce advocate of national integrity and a defender against the supernumerary indulgences of a deluded public by purchasing this gun and strongly encouraging them to examine their daily proclivities. Having given into exceptional temptations, libations, and licentiousness, isn't it time that you consider your religious bearings only through exhaustive study of firearms and the good book while living in a drought-stricken town where the mercury nears or exceeds the hundred mark at all times of night or day, can you obtain the profound enlightenment that comes from cogitating on moral fortitude. This unique revolver, with its second barrel for buckshot, is so strong and so perfect in manufacture, we have yet to record one that has become shaky or loose. Fire 50,000 rounds with flawless accuracy and you will see. Isn't your safety priceless? Order today. 
It really suits you. Okay then, and there it is. That will not work for us. That barrel is far too short. Also, not loving the grips. Not loving any of the grips. However, we do need a longer barrel and improved rifling. Mm. We do a range of excellent sights for that gun. They can really make the difference. That's a fine firearm. I can do some nice... Perhaps a mahogany grip is what we are looking for. Also, some engravings. John likes engravings. I am sure that's Abigail's influence. Art Nouveau. I know you can hardly see it now, but wait until you see what John has planned. Let's go with blued steel. We stock some of the finest quality guns in the South. Now that looks like a gun. I like leaving the trigger the original color, just makes the gun look more authentic for me. And now I'm not loving that mahogany grip. I think we have to go with the ebony, which means we will need a carving. You made a good decision. Snake? No. Scorpion, John has one of those on his 1899. Perhaps the Puma. The deer is far too peaceful and serene. Eagles look far too much like condors to John, and you know how John feels about condors. No to the buck, we'll go with the Puma. Nice. How is our ammo situation? We're good. Well done, John. Now this should be fun. Where shall we field test our new Lamat revolver? How about Thieves Landing? Thieves Landing has got to be one of my favorite names on the map. You know exactly what you're getting into when you go there. Who names the town Thieves Landing? A landing of thieves. Very much like Nocturne Alley, the name says it all. However, while Nocturne Alley implies a sinister tone, perhaps you will get turned around and knocked on the head, nothing good will ever come from visiting anywhere named Thieves Landing. Also, John can't swim, which makes this area extra dangerous for him. Let's get rid of the horse. See you soon, girl. There better be hostels here or this will be a very boring video. Okay, here we go. Let's do the whole raid with this gun. We have no long-range weapons, however, this Lamat seems to be performing just fine. John is enjoying the accuracy and range. Let's get up on the roof. 
That boat has a Maxim. John forgot about that. Nice view up here. No cover though. And this moonshine operation is the last bit. Someone is running away. That will not do. It looks like a ghost town now. Well, that went a lot more smoothly than I expected. Well done, John. That blood will be hard to explain to Abigail. Glad she's still up in Strawberry. And look at this Del Lobo stew. You get a potato and a slice of bread. They feed you well in this Del Lobo gang. Let's check out the boat. We dodged a bullet, no pun intended, with this Maxim gun. Wish there were condors around. Is that a snake? John hates snakes, not as much as condors, but they will do nicely for target practice. Nothing down here. I was hoping the gold nuggets would respawn.
John is disappointed and will set a fire. What about in here? There's usually money on this poker table. Oh well, you can't put a price tag on fun. What happened to our horse? And back in Tumbleweed. John really hates condors. He may be afraid of them. He doesn't really think about it. Good girl. Let's go. Good girl. Couldn't do it without you, girl. Interestingly, Tumbleweed has the only gunsmith in New Austin. That seems odd. Checking the map, nothing in Armadillo. And Blackwater has everything but a gun shop. Seems like there's an opportunity here for an entrepreneurial sort. At any rate, John wanted to customize his Evans repeater, which also unlocks in Chapter 4. Anything particular? I got plenty to choose from. We are also running perilously low on express ammo, both Arthur and John's favorite kind of bullet. I think we already took care of the rifling and sights. And we have the mahogany stock. However, bucote looks interesting. What is a bucote, you may be wondering. Bucote, or bucote, is an exotic wood native to Mexico, Central America, and the West Indies, to quote Google. It features a wide range of grain patterns from straight to wild with curved lines and swirls. The color ranges from golden brown to tan to golden yellow. It is a hard, heavy, and dense wood, strong and stiff, with a medium texture. And that is a very pretty wood. I do like the grain. Let's try it. And inspired by the Lamat, we shall go with blued steel. Both Arthur and John prefer brass frames. You see Mavis at the general store, tell her Roscoe says hello. However, John never says no to engravings. That should work. And then back home in Blackwater, let's check in on Sadie. The lighting's better and we can see through the windows now. 
There she is. Sadie is an old friend, of course. However, every time John and Sadie get together, she always wants to talk about Arthur, which John finds annoying, for obvious reasons. Let's see if we can go inside without triggering the cutscene. We'll get a good view upstairs. There she is, reading the paper, enjoying a beer and a smoke. And Sadie's cattleman is on the table. Was she cleaning it? Blackwater is relatively peaceful. Does she really need to keep it unholstered on the table? Also note, the gun is on her left side. Is Sadie a lefty? I never noticed. Shout out to all the Red Dead Redemption 2 players watching right now. And what is she eating? Is that the cobbler? I cannot tell from here. What else is up here? Cozy fireplace. And a blackjack game. And what is this? Is this one of them fancy telephone machines? Blackwater has a telephone and no gunsmith. How does that make sense? Also, no fence. I really wish we could interact with this. It would make an excellent stranger encounter if it rang right now. Maybe John can call Abigail. I'm pretty sure the hotel in Strawberry has one of these things. We need a photo for the IG, link in the description if you'd care to follow, in addition to links for my second gaming channel, Twitter and our Discord. This video is sponsored by viewers like you. Consider joining the channel and becoming a member for deputy badges by your name, custom emoticons in the premiere chats, end credits in every video, and daily members only community posts featuring my random musings on life. TV and movie reviews, and exclusive photos. I wonder if we can jump off from here. Milk. <laughs> Things just get worse and worse. Partner? And the answer is, yes we can. I hope you enjoyed watching this commentary as much as I enjoyed making it. John and Rachel had a long day. They better get back to camp. On Mondays, we Marston. I will see you in part 23. <laughs> I'm Super Antonio. Thanks for watching. I appreciate your views. Like, comment, share, and subscribe, and hit that notification bell for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. We shall meet again. Further on down the trail. Marston?